Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this video, we will consider how to apply for academic assessment with the ICE. If you are planning to apply for academic assessment, I strongly recommend that you watch this tutorial from beginning right through to the end because it explains the process step by step. Contact us if you require help with this. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video because that tells us that you value the content, you find it useful, and it also motivates us to create more videos for you. Finally, by subscribing, you will not miss out on any of the videos that we will be uploading. I would also appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. The documents you need to provide for academic assessment include a certified copy of your degree certificate, an official transcript or marks, or official list of modules you studied at school, a title and a one-page summary of your final year project or dissertation, and a two-page CV. To certify a photocopy of your certificate, your university lecturer or a senior member of your company would need to write the following in blue or black, basically directly on the proof of academic qualification. So the statement will read, I confirm this to be a true copy of the applicant's qualification and I recommend them for chartership or for whatever reason they are applying to the ICE for, okay? So they will need to provide the following information. Their signature, their name, date, the company they work for or the university that they represent, their position in that organization, their contact telephone number or email address. And if they are members of the ICE, they would need to provide their ICE membership number. Now, what happens if you've got a foreign certificate? That's not a problem. To certify an English translation, an official translator or your university lecturer or a senior member of your employing company must write in blue or black the following statement. I certify that I translated this into English and that to the best of my ability, it is a true and correct translation. I further certify that I am competent in English to render and certify such translation. I confirm this to be a true copy of this applicant's qualification and they will need to provide the same information as they would have if they were certifying an English document. So their signature, their name, the dates, the company they work for, contact information, obviously, and their ICE um, membership number if they are members of the ICE. Okay, so this is an example of what the certification would look like. Um, you can see the statement. I confirm this to be a true copy of this applicant's qualification and I recommend them for graduate membership of the ICE. So in this case, the candidate was a graduate. But like I say, the candidate um, could easily have been applying for um, chartered status with the ICE. So a signature, the name, the date, the company, position, contact email address and ICE membership number if applicable. And do make sure that you send in your application and supporting information and payment by the relevant closing date. So for the year 2022, you have got the different dates um, displayed. So make sure that um, you send in your application um, before the deadlines.
so the ICE will send the candidate an email which will advise the candidate on what level of ICE membership that they can apply for. Um, so candidates shouldn't worry if they, if they do not meet the requirements, the ICE would always um, provide you with necessary advice on how to proceed. So thank you very much for watching. Do not hesitate to contact us if you require support. And finally, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I would appreciate it if you liked the video. Um, this always motivates us to create more videos. So thank you very much and um, have an amazing day. I wish you the very best in your pursuit of becoming a chartered engineer or in your pursuit as a professional engineer. Thank you.